crazy level of fitness that some people have and it's showing us just how lazy we are. Yeah. Very cold. My fingers get very red immediately. Colder than if you would put your hand directly into snow. This is colder. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are exploring the amazing lake of Morskioko in Tatra National Park and we couldn't be more excited. We just came in and we are ready to explore. So let's go. If you want to come here from Zakopane and you don't have your own car, um, that's no problem at all. There's public buses commuting to the Morski Oko entrance on a very, very frequent level. And it's uh, 15 slotty per person to come here. And then the entrance itself at the moment is eight slotty per person, but you can pay with cards, so don't worry. And those buses that Naomi just mentioned, they leave from the main bus station in Zakopane center every 10 minutes. Now we are here, it's nine o'clock in the morning and there's already lots of tourists here, but we cannot wait to get inside. It's around two hours of a walk from the entrance of Tatra National Park to the lake itself. We are already greeted with some stunning nature here. Something to keep in mind when you come into the Tatra National Park and you're headed towards Morski Oko, there's plenty of people with horse carriages that are more than willing to take you all the way to Morski Oko itself. You just have to pay them in cash if you do want to do that. So if you do want to take a horse carriage, to Morskioko and you don't want to do the two hour trail there, I would bring some cash with you. I'm not too sure how much it is exactly, but I do know that you can bargain them down. I've heard anywhere from 50 to 80 zloty to get there per person. The trail that leads towards Mor Morskioko, it is actually a paved kind of like a road um, and cars and stuff like that do drive past you as you're walking along so keep that in mind it is not like a totally wild trail so it's a little bit easier on your feet um, also something worth mentioning the nature here that is surrounding this road you are basically incredibly thick trees cover both sides of the trail so you don't have that much of an open view onto much nature yet, but apparently when you get to the lake, that changes. So we are only about 20 minutes into this hike right now, and we cannot wait to get further in to the national park itself. If there is one reason for you to come and visit Zakopane, this is it, it's the nature. And we are here and we cannot wait. Um, we are luckily blessed with beautiful blue sky weather today as well. It's actually a little bit warm. We wore slightly heavier clothes because we were expecting it to be a little bit chilly because it's so early in the morning, but no, we're already starting to sweat. Oh my God, you guys, kind of halfway. I think um, we have this absolutely beautiful view onto the mountains and there's actually still snow there and um, if you're here in the area you can kind of if you look to the left walking towards Moski Oko looking to the left I think it's pretty much all Slovakia Slovakia right yeah and uh, there's still loads of snow in the area there which is so beautiful so we just came across some stunning water rapids or waterfalls the water was really rushing down and you can capture some incredible sounds there. Um, I believe it was called Podstok Rodstoka, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it is a beautiful stop along the trail towards Morskioko. Now we're going to continue on this beautiful trail and it's actually getting more and more beautiful as we walk along. 
along the way we took a right now and um, the road kind of splits so both streets go towards the Mors Morski Oko lake but one of them is on the normal street that is just usually like paved as a normal street that cars drive on basically seems to continue on for the horses <laughs> <laughs> for the carriages yeah and this one here seems to go a little bit more through the forest and the street is a little bit more challenging so depending on your own capabilities you definitely have both options and um, we chose the more difficult looking one <laughs> worth mentioning as well guys that all along the trail you will have porta potties so don't worry you don't have to wander off into the woods you do have porta potties all along the way I would actually suggest you not to wander off into the woods because there was a sign at the entrance uh, warning bears so uh, if you have to go to the toilet, make sure to use the porta potties and don't walk into the woods by yourself. <laughs> Taking the alternative route, you're kind of as fast as the horses, and um, that's a bit scary. I was very close. <laughs> the horsey got a little bit angry there. I don't think that we caused it. Ah, oh, Luke said it slipped. Okay, for a second I thought that we caused the panic, um, but um, it's kind of a race now to the top when you take the alternative route you're kind of overtaking the same carriage over and over and then on the paved parts the horses overtake you again uh, i hope that that horsey is okay it's really crazy we are currently around an hour and a half now into this hike and there's people running past us in both directions some people running up some people running down crazy level of fitness that some people have and it's showing us just how lazy we are at least we're not taking the horses so right here is where the horse carriages come to the stop it's worth noting that the horse carriages do not bring you all the way to Morskioko I believe we still have roughly another kilometer or so to go before we get to the lake itself so if you are planning on taking the horse all the way there you will still have to do some walking <laughs> but you are greeted at the end of the horse carriage trail with absolutely stunning snow-capped mountains in the distance and all of the nature around here is truly amazing um, one of a kind it is a national park for a reason and I can, I can understand paying an entrance fee into somewhere as beautiful as this Also at the end of the horse carriage trail, you have a restaurant too. I believe actually a few restaurants, bistros, stuff like that. So you do have a selection of food available. If you're like us and you don't bring food with you, we are actually, <laughs> we are actually hiking fasted at the moment. So we haven't had any food just yet. We just brought water with us. But I'm sure on the way back down, we're going to stop off at one of these restaurants. It smells like they have some pretty amazing food. We are getting closer and closer to the area where there's still snow. And I'm kind of wondering if we're going to get the chance to actually touch some snow. That would be really amazing. We actually brought the drone with us today, thinking we were going to get some epic nature drone shots. But there's signs everywhere at the entrance of the national park saying no drones allowed it seems like every time we bring the drone with us we're not allowed to fly it and every time we forget our drone we're allowed to fly it but uh yeah a little bit of a shame we're going to try and capture as many beautiful shots as we can though with this little bad boy here 
Oh my god, you guys, we made it all the way up to the lake now and check this out. You have a stunning view up here. Um, it is a little bit colder actually up here than uh, it was on the trail itself because the cold mountain air kind of comes down directly from the mountain, just goes over the lake. And if you're standing here, obviously you're gonna stand directly in the cold wind. Um, up here, you also have like a little restaurant situation, obviously toilets, bars, cafe, whatever you might need when you get all the way up here. But we're just gonna enjoy the lake for a while and then maybe get something to eat because we kind of deserve it after this hike. <laughs> So Morski Osko, Morski Oko is indeed the largest lake in the Tatra Mountains and it apparently was sculpted during the last ice age due to falling glaciers. It's incredibly beautiful and you can see a ton of snow off in the distance. So apparently the lake itself can be frozen all the way into May and it's May right now and it is actually pretty much surrounded by ice. Have a look at this. This is gonna be this is gonna be a very slippery experience. I am wearing a pair of chucks as you can see so yeah currently walking on ice and it's May. <laughs> what it's do you so think? so nice. You actually have the crunch under your feet when you walk, like as if it's kind of January or February. It's super nice. Weirdly enough, even though there is so much snow, I mean, it, it does get a little bit colder up here because of the wind, obviously, but there is so much snow still here, uh, but yet it doesn't feel necessarily cold. Um, the sun still kind of warms you up as you crunch through the snow. It's so nice. I don't think that words can truly or accurately describe just the sheer beauty that is this lake of Morski Oko. The snow just adds a whole different dimension to it. We really weren't expecting to see snow in May. I know that we're probably gonna say this a hundred times in this video, but it is really interesting. I'm sure that the water is absolutely freezing as well. Um, and from other videos that we have watched, apparently you can do a walk around the entire circumference of the lake itself in roughly an hour or so. So I don't know if we're gonna do that. We're definitely starting to get a little bit hungry and we did see that they have an ATM and everything like that in a restaurant that faces down onto the lake so I'm sure that that is the perfect next step for us. And everything like that. So how cold is it? Uh, very very cold. My fingers get very red immediately so uh, Kind of feels it's it's colder than if you would put your hand directly into snow. This is colder. Okay, guys. So, quick pit stop. We had a little bit too much fun taking pictures and footage around the lake, and I ended up going and stepping on like a platform that was literally made of ice. It broke, and my leg went straight into the lake. And let me tell you something: my foot, ankle, and calf is absolutely frozen stiff right now so i'm gonna take this shoe off take my wet sock off leave my foot in the sunshine for a while and then we're gonna go and grab some food Hi, one, 
want a bratwurst, a bratwurst, a bratwurst. I want a bratwurst, a bratwurst it is. So we decided against having food directly at the lake up there because it was quite busy. Um, and we kind of walking past this other restaurant, we already smelled that they have some sausages on the grill, on the barbecue. And uh, I was kind of looking forward to having a sausage from the barbecue. So mm -hmm. now we went all the way here. Um, we got one kielbasa, one karchek, and then um, one portion of Ostchipek and uh, Mirinda and Pepsi. How much did we pay? Um, in total for the food, we ended up just paying 60 zwoti. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive because of the location where we are, but I think it is still very good value. Both of us are absolutely starving. As we said earlier in this video, we did this hike completely and utterly fasted with no food, just water with us. So now we're gonna have some nice sugary beverages and get this beautiful Polish food in our bellies. That food was absolutely perfect. It was exactly what we needed and we didn't actually realize how hungry we were until we sat down at that table and had that delicious food. It's really warmed us up and it's definitely going to power us on the way back down uh, to the end of this park. Also, speaking of not realizing just how hungry we were, after we had the kielbasa and the karczek and the cheese as well, we ended up going and getting a piece of zarlotka as well. And that was actually our very first try, I believe, of zarlotka apple pie. So like traditional Polish apple pie. And it was very delicious. The two hour mark for this hike is realistic. I think we made it in exactly two hours, but it is only realistic if you have a very quick pace and you do not stop. So we, I think we stopped once just to use the bathroom real quick, the, one of those porta potties or what you call it. <laughs> um, so that was like maybe two minutes or something like that. And then we continued walking in a very quick pace. Um, if you are a slow walker, definitely calculate more than two hours to get up and down. Okay guys, so we have completed the full trip now. We are just coming back down to the parking lot area of Tatra National Park and Morski Oko hike. So what was your impression of Morski Oko? Uh, my impression is that it is definitely worth visiting and worth the hype as well. I understand why so many people of you, uh, so many of you were uh, suggesting it to us. And um, Morski Oko, by the way, translates to, I believe, eye of the sea. And I can definitely see why the people named that lake up there, Eye of the Sea. It's absolutely stunning and definitely worth your time and sweat to get up there. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a natural beauty to behold when you get to the lake itself. It's surrounded still by ice and it is just stunning. There is obviously large groups of people and tourists that come here on a daily basis so do prepare yourself for that but in terms of the hike itself it is two hours up and two hours back and to be honest it's really not that difficult i went in a pair of converse and naomi went in a pair of trainers that she got in albania five euro trainers <laughs> five euro trainers from albania so you really don't need any sort of special equipment to uh, bring with you on this hike and there is always the option of taking horses up and back if that's something that you need to do. Just please, before you go up, make sure that you check the weather forecast because you are quite up high in the mountains and weather changes very, very fast. So if you're planning to go up, make sure to check the weather beforehand and don't just go um, without being a little bit organized. Yeah, that's a very good point. 
Um, speaking of horses, we just got passed out by some horse, horses there. But uh, yeah, check the weather. Um, it changes very rapidly, obviously, being in a national park and being surrounded by mountains. You can have crystal blue, clear sky like we have right now, and in 30 seconds you can be in a thunderstorm. So definitely come prepared for that. And yeah, we really, really had an amazing day here in Tatra and at Morskioko as well. And we would 100% recommend you to do the same. Uh, for now, we're gonna see you guys in the next video. My name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you later guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much for watching this video. We just launched our community, our channel memberships here on YouTube. So if you want to be part of this community, make sure to check out the benefits and perks down below. All of this is only possible because of you guys and with your support, we will be able to keep going for a lot longer.